done with the severe weather. We're done with the tornado threat and the humidity is slowly diminishing as we get through this day. So that's exciting. A totally different air mass is in place. Today is indeed Thursday. Tuesday, we had tornadoes across the area, which were confirmed yesterday by the National Weather Service local offices. One in particular closer to home here with a lot in upstate New York, but one here in Lyme, New Hampshire. So that was on Tuesday evening, an EF1 110 mile per hour winds. It was 1.8 miles long with the track of destruction. Speaking of, no tornadoes confirmed from yesterday, but we did have damaging wind. And there are all the reports from yesterday evening, the last 12 hours or so from that last and final round of severe weather due to a cold front. That has swept us nice and clean for this morning and this afternoon. And there you see the different air mass already sneaking into Worcester County as you have full sun, lowering humidity, and you're done with the rain and the storms. All the storm activity, the severe weather, it's well off the coast, and it continues to move away from us, eventually pulling away the cloud cover today. But beware, some of those clouds may be quite stubborn, especially along the South Shore, Cape Cod, and the islands. Dew point forecast, though, we get totally dry air once we go into tonight and tomorrow. It gets way less humid. Rock bottom for our forecast. Well, at least 50s. This is very refreshing. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, not a huge increase with our dew points either. We stay pretty comfortable all the way through the start to next week. And we did make it through history here. This was the soupiest stretch of weather with dew points of 70 degrees or higher consecutively 15 days. And that started on July 4th. The top spot that was back in 1994, where we had an 18-day stretch. So, yeah, you were definitely living through something that we haven't experienced very often. <laughs> it was very muggy, and now it's diminishing here. The dew point's lowering. Temperature's now beautiful, 80 degrees. It's not going to be an extremely hot day. So the mid-80s, the upper 80s, yes, some communities could hit 90 degrees, but it's going to be much more tolerable. And the last few days, we had some shark sightings, haven't we? <laughs> Water temp also running cool. And it's because we have that warm pool of air way off the coast, warm pool of ocean water, too. The ocean temperatures sitting in the low 70s, way offshore. That doesn't help us here. We have upwelling going on with an offshore wind. And so what we need is an east wind to skim that really, really warm ocean water to get it back to the coast. So we need an east wind. We are not going to get it today, but it is comfortable if you want to lay out on the beach. 85 degrees with some stubborn clouds and our rip current risk remains moderate along southern and western facing beaches, primarily the south coast Cape and Islands, while we have very calm waters across the coastline. And hey, our overnight lows are going to be in the 60s, some 50s in the suburbs. Turn the AC off, open the windows, let that refreshing air in, and a beautiful stretch begins Friday through at least Monday.